Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here in Atlantic British. And in this video, we want to introduce to you a new diagnostic tool that we're adding to our line called the Lynx. The Lynx is a diagnostic tool that can be made available to read just about any Land Rover across the board or a single model. What you get with the Lynx is the interface component that will connect your vehicle through this interface to a PC Windows uh, computer. You can use a laptop, um, a regular PC desktop, or even any of the newer tablets as long as they're window based. You get a carry case so you can keep all your components safe. You get a zip drive where you would download the, the uh, software so that you can put links on your computer and also your connecting cable that will connect the interface to your PC. Now essentially what this will do is this can be set up for either uh, a single model which comes with the unit when you purchase it online um, but you can also add other models on should you have more than one Land Rover or are looking to upgrade in the near future you can add that vehicle to the Lynx. We also have a Pro model which will encompass all the Land Rover models going all the way back even to the Classic and the Discovery ones so this will give you a good access to them. Now, uh, some of the advantages to this as opposed to a small handheld is one obviously is you can put this on a bigger screen. By doing so, you can put multiple readings up on that screen and be able to view them all at once. And we're going to show you very shortly how you can do that. Now, you can also use the PC to store this data. If you wanted to save it and go back at a later time and be able to review it, you can do so with both on the links or even right on your, on your PC. So there's a lot of advantages to this as, a, as, as well. Plus the fact that with the Lynx, it's much easier if you need to take a vehicle out on a road test and you're looking at your live data. You have a rider with you that can monitor all this and with the bigger screen, it's much easier to read, especially when the vehicle's in motion. So all that has its advantages over the handheld. So essentially when uh, we will have this listed on our website, the links with that comes with the one individual Land Rover already uh, uh, opened up or unlocked on the unit will be part number DA 6430K and then the Pro model which will encompass all the Land Rovers is going to be part number DA 6431 and again both uh, you can talk to any of our salesmen they can give you information on this we'll have a uh, we're going to follow up we're going to connect this to a vehicle we're going to show you some of the basic advantages of this and then any further information that you want on this you can refer back to our website or even simply call me at our tech line so we back this unit up where we can give you some tech support should you run into any problems but otherwise this has been a very good unit and you're going to enjoy using it now we're going to connect this to a vehicle and we'll give you some basics on its capabilities so first we're going to plug the Lynx interface into the diagnostic connector you should see bottom light light up that's an indication you are connected and you do have power to your DLC and that will power up the Lynx our cable to our laptop uh, or whatever we're going to be using for our computer interface this is the connector for that we're going to plug in there and then your share lamp was going to come on and that's going to indicate now you are connected to the computer and the connections are good so now we're going to go to our screen and we'll show you some of the capabilities we're going to assume we already have we've downloaded and unlocked the links into whatever pc computer laptop tablet you want to use and this is what's going to come up on your initial screen so when you plug your links in and you go to your links icon on your computer and you pull it up it's going to go to this so you're going to hit start and you've got the key on on the vehicle and so what it's going to do now is connect to the interface it's going to hook up to the vehicle Now, these are your choices that you have available, and you'll see basically you've got the majority of the Land Rovers that have uh, essentially been sold in the U.S. since the mid-90s, and right on up to the Evoque, which is, which is nice. Uh, you also have your last screen here, which you can hit, and all that does is going to do is do a self-test and what they call IMUX harness, which you can use later on for any updates. So we'll back up. Now the vehicle we're hooked up to right now is a Discovery 2. So we're going to hit that. 
and then that's going to put us on a screen and these are the choices or the modules that we're going to be able to access the EMS is essentially the engine control module our transmission control module ABS airbag as in your safety airbags security system and chassis so we'll initially we'll start at the top we're going to start with EMS now it's going to give you choices this is the uh, the M5.2.1 which is essentially your Bosch system for the petrol engines and then turbo diesel 5 which generally you are not going to see in the US anyway so we're going to hit that we've already turned the ignition on it's just verifying so now we're going to communicate with the power uh, powertrain control module it will give you the hardware number of the module which can come in handy because God forbid you should have to replace the module they're going to ask you for your hardware number this verifies the type vehicle you're working on along with the part number of the module so now at this point it's going to tell you you can choose anything from the main menu you can choose your full codes live data actuator tests special functions and you have help and settings now help is where you can go to get and download the actual user manual for the links and it's very well detailed There's over 60 pages you can either decide to leave it and just use it when you need to to go to that particular page on this unit or you can download and print it and have it on paper in front of you which sometimes makes for easier reference so essentially we'll start with going to fault codes it's going to give you a blank screen it'll say fault codes and you have two small icons up here in the top right one is a magnifying glass you're going to actually do your search for your fault codes the other is essentially the eraser or to be able to erase any fault codes but of course you're going to read first this is going to load up and believe it or not there are no codes in the EMS on this disco 2 should there have been codes you can hit OK you can read the codes get the descriptions and then you can clear the codes using the erase button so in this case and we don't need to we're going to back up so we'll go from full codes let's go to live data takes a minute and then what it's going to do on this left hand window is going to give you all the different items that you can monitor and watch and it'll take up to eight of these different functions to transfer over to selected item screen so uh, let's just pick like the basic four mass airflow sensor we're going to hit the plus sign it's going to transfer the mass airflow sensor over to the right hand screen uh, coolant temperature is a good one to monitor engine speed and let's see how about we take a look at engine torque and plus now we can load up to eight on here but we're just going to go with four now you can do one of two options if essentially you've already gone through and monitored but you want to record it you can hit the the red dot and what that'll do is start recording whatever you have chosen in the selected item screen so in this case we're going to go with live so I'm going to start it up and we're going to pull the readings up and we'll show you some of the options you can use on this all right so we're going to hit play and now it's going to give us our readings now what we can do is we can change some of the way that we uh, we get these readings if we look up top we have one button this is for pause this is for stop the small uh, icon at the very end that shows the graph you can take those four that you have on the first page and you can move them into a graph function so you can read them now there are several different ways you can read these and if you look on the far right of each window you can X out so that if you want to change the uh, item you want to view in that window you can X this out and choose another one to put in its place then this little bar and star you can change to a gauge style and we can do that with this as well and then the next one we can actually make it look there's engine torque but it puts it in a uh, thermometer mode hit it three times 
and you have a bar reading, hit it four times. And what it'll do is just give you your reading out here in large letters, which if you're sitting in the vehicle and you want to operate the throttle or you have other things that you want to do, you can set these so that you can read them easily from inside and leave this out on the hood. So this makes it very easy to watch, but you can set it so many different ways. You can enlarge it by hitting the little magnifying glass. And we'll hit it again and that'll back us back down. And then you can also, if you hit this fourth button down on the bottom, what you can do is if you have a, uh, an issue developing on the vehicle and it happens within a certain range, depending on mass airflow sensor, engine speed, engine torque, whatever. You can set the triggers so that it automatically tells you, it gives you an audible alert when you fall into or fall out of whatever parameters you've set on this. So we can cancel that back out. We hit that one more time. It'll actually even show you now the fifth version. There's engine speed basically set up like your gauge would be on your dashboard. Hit it a sixth time and that puts us back to our original but it gives us a crosshair, gives us a marker and then back to the gauge. So we want to back up and go back on the original page. So if you want to change any of these, whatever is highlighted is what the plus or minus is going to control. So I'll say engine torque we want to get rid of that and we can scroll down you can watch the function on your O2 sensors which let's load both of those and then we can take a quick look and it'll give a minute to get the information loaded up so here you can actually watch your O2 sensors cycle and make sure that they're going through their full swing you can check the heaters see if they're operating you've also got misfire you can actually put all eight cylinders on this screen and watch for any subtle misfires that may not be showing up on OBD2 you've also got engine rough which you can do the same you can run all eight you can observe them on the screen you can see if you got one cylinder intermittently going rough it'll tell you state on your fuel pump relay CAN communication, in this case this vehicle doesn't have the high speed CAN, but if you had any of the newer ones, this will show up. AC switch, ECM temperature, on some of the newer Land Rovers they actually regulate the temperature of the uh, modules and they actually have a fan within the E-Box to cool them off. You've got a number of different, quite a few options on here that you can use to help diagnose your vehicle. So we'll go from live data, we'll go over to actuator tests. And these will be items that you can turn on and off manually to test. Fuel pump, condenser fan, like I said this vehicle doesn't have the e-box fan, you'll see it in some of the newer Land Rovers. Special functions, you can pull up your ECM data and then maintenance would be programming. If you're installing a new module, you can use maintenance to program that module to the vehicle. And again if we go over to help. Any current boltons on that vehicle in this in this category will come up or if you want to go to the manual this is how you're going to access the user manual for the unit. So we basically covered the ECM. We're going to bring this back home, back this up so that we can put, pick another module. It's going to tell you to back out of, out of your diagnostic for one particular module. When you go to back out, it's going to ask you to turn the engine off. We're going to turn the key back on in a second. Alright, so this puts us back in our original window where we were going to pick petrol again. We've turned the ignition on. And then this is going to list our modules again. back that up because we want to go back to let's go home
you could do either. You could either hit home, it'll put us on the original window, or you can hit back upstate and that'll put us back on the original window for Discovery 2. Now, what we want to hit on is two other items on here because there are a big question on these. One is being able to access ABS, especially on Discovery 2s with some of the issues with wheel speed sensors and with the shuttle valves. And again, this will give you the product number of that module. It'll tell you a vehicle fitted with ABS. And again, now we've established communication. We're going to, you can have access as far as full codes will be the same as we described on the earlier. You can also do the same for live data. What I'm going to do, I, I want to show special functions because this is something that you would need for Disco 2. If you're doing any type of hydraulic brake work, you do need to have this bleed function so that it'll activate the ABS and get all the air out of the ABS system. Again, you can also program the vehicle and then you can also pull your control module data out of here. And this is all through special functions. Actuators. You can basically activate and test any one of the internal valves. You can see when you hit that, it'll pull it up. It'll tell you test. You can listen for a change in function or have someone with their foot on the brake pedal you'll feel a change in the pedal when this valve opens and closes. We'll hit exit, and we'll back out and go home. And back up, we need to turn the ignition off again. Back that up. And then we're back to our choices again. Now, security was the other one that we want to touch base on. And we turn the key back on, and essentially what it's telling us is it's going to put us into the body control unit. We've turned the ignition back on. She needs a minute to communicate. Tell you what your software level is. And again, now we're back on main menu for the BCU. Live data. There's quite a bit in here you can watch as far as uh, switch diagnostic, which is really nice. Turning switches on and off, it'll tell you what state that that particular switch is in. You want to go to actuators. And these are all items that you can basically enable or disable manually using this unit. You know, if you wanted to check, say, to, you want to unlock the doors or lock doors, uh, crank enable, this is all functional through the links. Special functions. One is programming if you're replacing the BCU. The other being transmitters. If you happen to have one of these where it goes into a mobilization and the key is now no longer in sync with the BCU, by using the transmitter function, you're actually going to resync the key with the BCU so the BCU recognizes that key take you out of mobilization. So this is also a great tool for that. So this gives you the basics on what this vehicle is capable of, of this is capable of doing with this vehicle. Um, again, it has the manual built in that'll give you more detail on it, but this gives you a basic overrun as far as what the functionality is of the links. Now you can either get the links unlocked for just the particular vehicle that you own, say a Discovery 2 or an L322, or if you want to look at the pro version, if you're a shop and you're looking for a tool that'll basically cover the whole line, you can go with the pro version on this. So, this is the Lynx. This is something fairly new. Um, I've had a chance to work with this and I find that this tool will basically get into just about everything you need to do to properly diagnose any of these Land Rovers. So, when you're ready, for a Lynx, or if you're ready to purchase a diagnostic tool so that you can do your own repairs or your shop looking to be able to have better access to the functions of a Land Rover, give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen, 1-800-533-2210. And uh, thanks for watching.